Henry VIII, you've heard of him, King of England for almost four decades. His primary claim to fame were his six, count them, six contentious marriages. Now, in today's world, that would get your reality show. It's also the topic of the musical Six, the hit musical, which is opening tonight at the Bushnell for eight performances. We're happy to have the actress who plays one of the King's wives. Uh, that's uh, Gabby Carrillo. Nice to see you, uh, Gabby. Hi. Welcome aboard. I always like doing this, and I, I, we've already done this. Well, quick, what city are you in? Hartford. Okay, double checking, because you, you've been on the road uh, in, the, in the show for how long? Uh, almost exactly a year. Uh, almost, it's all a blur, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's nice, been a whirlwind, it's fun. Nice to have you here. I, I love the story, you know, Henry VIII. Man, he was, was he just a womanizer or uh, just, a, just a dummy when it came to women? Um, you know, I, 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 would, I wish I could go back in time and, and meet him and be able to kind of psychoanalyze him. I think there was a lot of, um, a lot of complex things going on there. It was a product <laughs> of the times and maybe also who he was. There also may have been a head injury in his life. There's a lot that's, <laughs> well, that's curious about his history. You might be onto something with the head injury. And I, the reason I say that, if you know his history, uh, six women, two were he divorced. Speaking of head injuries, two he beheaded. Uh, one of them died naturally, and I think she was all the better for it. There's only one that survived, Catherine Parr, and that's your character. Uh, <laughs> tell us, take us through the show, because, you know, in real life, you know, six wives getting together, and that, that usually leads to trouble, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, the, the show is a, a wonderful experience. Uh, it, it kind of marries um, pop music, a pop concert, and musical theater. So it's a great, it's a great show for people to come to who are even a bit skeptical of musical theater itself because right. it's really nothing like anything that's out there. And, and it's a wonderful way to tell the story of, of these six women and their experience. And boy, what a hit it, it's been. It's still on Broadway. The show won 23 awards uh, back in the 21-22 Broadway season. So it's a new show, uh, including a Tony for Best Original Score, the Outer Critics Award for Best Musical. When uh, you jump into a show like this, is there added pressure because you know it's a big hit? Um, definitely, I think there, there already was a fan base built around the show, mm -hmm. which was, um, something interesting, not something that you always get with, with different productions. There was, there's such a, they call it the queendom is the fan base of six. And so that, I don't know if it was pressure, but I felt a desire to really, mm -hmm. um, to really play this character truthfully and well, and, and, uh, yeah, I definitely felt a sense of responsibility. Well, if after two years you've got a name for the fans, I would say that that's pretty big. I mean, that's up there with like Beyonce and the Beehive and, and all, exactly. all, all the others, right? So tell us exactly. about your character. What does she go through in the show without giving away any plots? Okay. Ooh, without giving away any plot. <laughs> well, we've already given up the ghost. We've already said you survive. So there, sure. plot twist. Yeah, but I say that at the beginning. I say that at the beginning. Okay, I'm good. the survivor, Catherine Parr. We mm -hmm. all know that if you look in a history book. So right. no spoilers. Okay. But she, um, yes, yeah, she has a, a really tragic story sort of about how she kind of ended up married to Henry VIII. She had to sacrifice uh, a lot of her own life in order to make that marriage happen. But she was a dutiful person. Um, she was a woman of faith. And so she believed that it was her duty and it was kind of God's um, plan for her to be married to the king. And, and so she had to give up certain things to make that happen. And mm -hmm. through my character um, in this musical and it, it, through her song, we kind of get to see what her life might have been like. Right. Um, which, if she had married him or, you know, what was what she was really about. And I got to wonder, the audience probably rooting for you because you're going into this marriage with just a few red flags. I mean, five previous ones who are all dead. Good luck. Six is the, the lucky number, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that's pretty brave of her. Yeah. To Absolutely. We just showed, we showed a quick clip because you've also been uh, all around the country. You, you were in uh, Wicked, right? Uh, I was not in Wicked. No, not in Wicked. Uh, maybe, Never. maybe the clip was from uh, something I did in college. Right, like, uh, okay. Cause we showed, I did play Alphaba in college. We showed that a moment ago. So there you I was like, oh, God. <laughs> We're showing oh, yeah, that was a... <laughs> 
college Halloween show. We're, like, yeah. we're, we're showing the wrong person. No, that's not good. No, but you're also okay. in, a, in a musical version of Love Actually, the hit Christmas movie, uh, which you said that they, they, you were singing while they were playing the movie and with the whole full orchestra. How cool is that? Yeah, it's a wonderful production. We yeah. They do quite often in Beverly mm -hmm. Hills in California, and it's just beautiful. It's a great Christmas experience. And this is her first Broadway touring production. Six opens up tonight at the Bushnell, runs through the weekend. You can see uh, Gabriella uh, singing, uh, her heart's content, and best of all, surviving. <laughs> nice to see you, Gabriella. Uh, break a leg tonight here in Hartford, all right? Thanks for having Gabriella me. Gabriella Carrillo, thank you very much.